Hey Diva Dolls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube fam. And if you've been following me, thank you guys for coming back to check out another video. So today's video is going to be how to make this um, simple shabby chic mirror tray. Um, so if you want to find out more or if you want to find out how to make this, um, keep on watching and let's jump into the video. What I'm going to be using to make this um, project is my new glue gun. Yes, I told you guys I was gonna get the high temperature glue gun, so I did get it today. I um, also have these, um, I think the frame itself is a eight by 10, I believe. Um, so I have three of them. And I also have this mirror that I had previously. Also have um, this burlap ribbon that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and also some cotton twine that I'm going to be using. So let's jump right into the video. So I'm just going to open these, get all the plastic off and I'm going to um, take the back off. And this is my first time seeing these frames in there. But um, I think I'm going to keep this part of the frames because I see a project coming on. Um, with these so I'm gonna set those to the side and this is just going to be trash I'm also going to take the glass out and of course you guys know I do keep the glass um, that comes out of my frames and this is what I'm left with I want to peel these off but sometimes when you try to peel these little things off they do it breaks the frame so I'm just going to fold them back in um, and I'm going to go ahead and take these off and I'm going to open my glue gun and let it be getting hot um, while I'm doing that and I will let you guys see once I get ready to put everything together now that I have all of my picture frames open and the plastic taken off of them, I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom. This is the mirror frame and um, I've been had this for a while so I don't know what I did with the back part. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to place a little bit of glue um, inside the uh, corner. Well, my glue won't come out. I guess I gotta put another one in there. Place some glue in the corner. There it is. Working with a new glue gun, so I gotta get used to it. And this is the back from one of the picture frames that I recently um, used. So I'm just gonna pull this part off on both ends. Also pull this off because I, I want it to be leveled. And I'm just going to glue this, glue this down on the back side. You don't have to put it in any special order, but yeah, just, I'm not liking this glue gun. I don't know, my other one works so much better. Maybe it's just not hot enough. So I'm gonna let it get a little hot, a little bit hotter, I guess. And I'm going to come back and show you guys or I'll um, kind of finish the rest of it. So yeah, I'm gonna let my glue gun get a little hotter. Maybe that's what's going on. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm not liking that one. 
Okay, so I think my glue gun is hot enough, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. Okay, um, so this is the frame. Um, these are the frames that I had that I taken a little. And I'm going to leave these on simply because I guess working with the Dollar Tree, sometimes the stuff is like well, stuff is very inexpensive, and if you try to pull it off or something, it might break. So I'm going to um lay them down on top of each other like this. Yeah, I think it is hot enough now. So I'm going to glue it around like that. I'm going to just eyeball it and place it on top of the mirror. Oh, okay guys, now that I have my three picture frames glued on, and I got one of them kind of crooked, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it, I'm gonna leave it that way. Um, I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to take my burlap ribbon, and I'm just going to measure out um, enough to cover up the gray picture frame. Take my scissors and cut. So, here is the end of the picture frame. Um, so I wanna leave about that much, so I can flap it over to cover the gray part, simply to make it a shabby chic. So, I'm gonna face it. I hope you guys can see this. Um, face it like that, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just to see um, where I need it to lay. I'm gonna place it in the center. You can just glue like a little piece just for a guide to see if that's going to be enough for you. That is where I need it to lay. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the rest of the burlap down. All you need is one little strand of glue. You don't need much. I'm just gonna tap that down to hold it. And I'm going to move to the other side. I gotta put it again. Now I want to let that dry because when I get ready to fold it over, I don't want it to uh, pull. So what I want to do is that is what I have left over. I'm going to put one strand of glue here. Just barely squeeze it. You don't need a whole lot of glue because I don't want the glue to um, seep through the burlap. And I'm just going to fold that over. Fold into it. And that is what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and finish all four sides and I will let you guys see what it looks like once I get done. Okay, so I have the burlap wrapped around the entire mirror. Um, I do want to let you guys know that the end, uh, if you have worked with burlap before, you know that it does unravel. So the ends try to unravel a bit. So what I did was I just what I did was I just took my glue gun and put a dab of glue there and I just kind of smoothed it with the end of one of the backs of the picture frame just to keep it from uh, unraveling. But this is what it looks like so far. So with the next step, I'm going to go in with the twine and I'm going to wrap which this process is going to take some time, but um, if you want it done right, you would take the time to do it. So I'm going to wrap the twine around the picture frame like that, and all you need is just like a dab of glue. You don't need a whole lot. So I should have plugged up my smaller glue gun for this. But I'm going to be using um, my high temperature glue gun since I already have it plugged. I'm just going to make sure that um, I don't use a whole lot. So just a dab. <clears throat> and if you just want to put it in the corners, you can. So that's all that I'm doing, just putting it in the corners. I'm going to finish this and I will let you guys see what it looks like once I get done. So 
I have all of my twine wrapped around the picture frame. I do want to let you guys know I did end up taking one picture frame off top. So instead of using three picture frames, I used two. Um, simply because I thought it might have been a little too deep. So I'm going to clean off my mirror and I'm going to place my products or my little accessories um, in my tray. And I will let you guys see what it looks like once I am done. So guys, this is what the finished product looks like. Um, very simple, very easy, shabby, chic mirror tray um yeah just a few items from the dollar tree um if you are wondering where the candle is from it is the way i west candle they do have a amazon store and these sunglasses are from amazon as well i'm not sure exactly what store they came from but they are on amazon if you type in um aviator i think they should come up but yeah this is, you know, very simple, very easy DIY. Don't forget to thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.